hey girl, so I need your opinion, your help, your advice, or whatever you're willing to give because I just really need some help with this situation. Um, I feel like being an introvert sometimes hinders me in a lot of different ways. Or it it is just, I don't know, it's, it's a hindrance sometimes. And this thought has been floating around in my mind since it's happened and it's really bothering me. So one day I go to work and there's a new nurse. So the new nurse is a male, African-American male. And uh, he is the man of the hour because predominantly um, facility and He's the only male there and he's masculine. He isn't a sassy male. But this is the first time I actually worked with a African-American male as a nurse. So he's having his little small orientation and everybody's yapping and talking. And so there were these ladies at the nurse's station. One of them was an older lady. She was sitting at the computer and there were like a couple of other girls. I don't even know if they were nurses or who they were. They were in there. They were just talking to her or whatever. And I was standing there and she proceeded to say, who's that? Why is he here? <laughs> and I was like, well, of course he's about to work here because what other reason would he be here? I mean, he's clearly not a family member of somebody. It just, it was odd. The question was odd. And I was just like, I was just like, okay. So I knew she was on one. So she was like, oh, I hope he knows what he's doing. I hope he know he's not new at this. And oh, oh my God. And then they cracked a joke, you know, just throwing shade around. And she, the, the other girl was like, oh, and you're training him. And she was like, oh my God, like, are you serious? Oh. And she was just like, so, but she had the ick because she was going to train this guy. And she, it bothered me because it was like, you don't even know him. You're judging him. You're, you're, you're basically... I don't know, it was just like so awkward to me because they had never did that before. I've seen other people have orientation and they don't say anything. They're happy and they're like, oh my God, where are you going to school? It's a dis it's, it was a different conversation. And so they kept continuing to throw shades, saying little, making little smart remarks and stuff like that. Um, Like, why did you choose to work here? I, I wonder where, you know, where did he come from? Where does he live? Is he through agency? It was just like, for what? So they goes on and now we're working the shift. I'm on the car, so I'm passing the heads and they walk past and the same lady that was like talking to him, like talking about him, throwing all that shade, is now laughing and giggling up and down the halls with him. Like, ah! It was just so awkward, so odd. So pause for a second, let me clear this up. At this point, I am very irritated. I am very confused. I'm so lost because these same four women that were at the nurse's station throwing so much shade at this male black nurse is now being so flirtatious with this man. They like surrounded him and they were laughing and giggling and touching. It was giving very much weird I was like, you know, this is weird. I don't like it. And they just talked about him. And now everybody's like kissing his butt and, you know, being nosy per usual. <laughs> it was just an odd, strange situation for me. But I minded my business, did my job. And look, that was that. Um, But that day I knew like it was going to be something just because how they were acting. And he didn't know how they were acting. I kind of felt bad because I wanted to give him a heads up, but I didn't because I was just like, oh, maybe it'll go well for him. You know, maybe, you know, whatever. They're just doing them. I don't know. Try not to think too much into it. And so like weeks later, I come in into a night shift and everybody's, you know, in a group talking and it was everybody like it was a group. And um, so I stood there once again. Nobody sees you because if you're quiet. They just don't see you. Um. And I listen to, as I'm listening to the conversation, cause I'm like, they're talking about a nurse. I hear them like, you're supposed to be, this is the first thing I hear. You're supposed to be a nurse. You're supposed to help. And I'm like, Ooh, who are they talking about? So now I'm like, ears are like listening. I'm like, then 
the one girl said, yeah, he just, just sits at the front. He just sits at the nurse's station. And I said, oh, they're talking about, because at, at this time, he's the only male that's working. They're like, oh, he, he just sits at the nurse's station. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't help. And there was a scenario where they wanted him to come into a room and help. He, he didn't. He doesn't have to. Which you need to realize that if a person went to school and they got their RN or whatever, LPN, they don't have to help you if they have things to do. If they're in the position to help, they can help, but they really don't have to help you. That's your job to get that person off the floor. And so they were talking about how he didn't help them, how he didn't assist them, how he, you know, basically didn't do his job. He just sat at the desk. I mean, sat at the nurse's station. I wanted to tell him that they had had this discussion. And I swear you guys, this discussion lasted for like 40 minutes. There's no way. There's no way. They talked about that man. They threw shade. They talked about that man and talked about that man and threw shade for 40 minutes. And I felt so bad because I'm like, do I speak up? Do I say something like, or do I just, you know, leave it alone because it's not, you know, he can find out on his own. And it was just weird because I'm like, okay, these people, because they are, they're not going to tell him because they don't like him because he's a black masculine nurse. This is in my heart. I just felt like this. And I was always told if you feel some type of way, then that's the way it is. I feel like because he's a black man and he's a nurse and he's not sassy they really had a problem with him i don't know and he was really nice he did his job and um what they were saying seemed to be untrue to me because i remember specifically when i worked there was somebody who fell on the floor he helped he didn't have to he didn't have to and he, you know, it was just odd to me that they said he didn't help and he sat at the nurse station. And then it's like, okay, all the other nurses do the same exact thing. They sit there for hours. For hours, they're doing their due diligence or whatever they're doing on the computer. Then for an hour, they take a lunch. And then the next three hours, they're disappeared somewhere. Like, and it's just so annoying. So, um... I had never seen him do that. I've seen plenty of nurses do that. So I wouldn't even, I don't, if he did that, it wouldn't be a shocker to me. And the fact that they were talking about it like this was something new, like nobody does this. Oh my God, he did this was crazy to me. Cause I'm like, everybody in this room, the supervisors, all y'all sit at the desk and, and do absolutely nothing. I like to mind my business. I don't want to start anything because I don't know. If he, he, he didn't seem like he would go back like the sassy male nurse and be like, oh, you guys are saying this. He didn't seem like that. But I just didn't want to start up any mess or drama. I'm like, eventually he'll find out what they're doing and what they're saying, how they feel about him. But I just felt so bad. Like, oh my God, like I should tell him something. I should say something because I'm always hearing them and them throwing shade and talking about him or whatever like that. And I'm like, this is where being an introvert becomes like, it feels like. It's holding me back from doing something that's right. Because I'm just like in my little bubble and I'm like, well, I shouldn't tell him, but I've heard everything, you know what I mean? And you know, I just, I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that information. I haven't seen him lately. He could have possibly got wind of what everybody was saying and what, what, what was taking place and he probably is not picking up there anymore. But I do feel bad. I do feel like I should have said something like, you know, watch your back, watch what you're doing because they are on your ass. Um, another reason I want to let you guys know like why this bothered me is because there was a situation where a woman had came in and like she, she was, it's, I want to make this fast. She was working, she was working so hard. Well, this is what she would tell everybody. She wanted to be the boss. She wanted to be the big person in charge. You know, she wants to be in control. A male, a black male came to work at this certain place and she no longer was in charge. He was in charge. Uh, I guess he worked his way up or whatever the case may be. And now she was upset. She was angry. So she wanted to pull this man down. And yes, I'm going to say it. She wanted to rip this black man apart. And so what she did was she started to say that this man was the residence. I thought that was insane. I, I thought that that was so 
that wasn't the first time I've seen that here. I've seen it once before. And it actually was the resident who said that this black man. And I'm just like, am I in a movie right now? And then it's just kind of like, okay, it's, it shouldn't be expected. But these people, the ages that they are, it, it kind of, sh- you can expect it. You know what I mean? Because uh, it wasn't that long ago, if people really think about it, that these people, I mean, they live that life. They're like 90 89, 80, they've lived that life. So if they've grown up saying things like that or feeling like that is the right thing to say, it's or, you know, I don't know why they would say it, especially if it wasn't true. That is terrible. And I'm just bringing this up because it's a dangerous place for the black male. If you ask me, working in a predominantly white facility might just not be the place for them. And... Yeah, it's it's you're you're on, you're walking on a thin line when you do that because, like I said, this is the third time that some craziness has happened. Like this is like they just try to rip them apart, like for no apparent reason at all, just because maybe they just don't like them and they don't want to work with, uh, you know, black males. They sh- they should say that instead of, you know, tarnishing a person's name, um, making it seem like this person is a monster. So. When all they want to do is help people. It, it's just really, really messed up. And so I wanted to put that in there. That's why it's just like, it's really making my head feel like it wants to explode. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me if you've ever been through something like that. And I don't have anything against people. I don't. But some some things are just like, why do we have to go through this? Like, it's just not necessary. It's really not. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. And I really, I should have spoke up for him. And I keep, I'll keep saying that over and over again. I just wanted to say that I know that I should have spoke up for him. Um, and that's why this keeps replaying over and over in my head. Because I know I was wrong. So, I wanted to see if anybody else has, like, had that problem. Where you feel like being an introvert just kind of, like, holds you back from saying certain things. Or being involved in certain stuff. You know. 